So we're here to look for a new puzzle, but I guess we'll just play with everything. Perfect. Pineapple. It's very bright in here. I don't know what that is. Strange ice creams. This is a cup. Disposable items. It's kind of cute, but to be perfectly honest with you, all I see is a bunch of plastic nonsense. The 4th of July stuff is like already. These are actually really useful for like doing work in the house. Like these are for gardening, like kneeling in the in the in the dirt and stuff, but when you're cleaning at home, it, there is a really good deal. I want to look for a new puzzle for us. And, but I don't have like the highest hopes. I'm thinking it's like a 50-50, a 50-50 uh, chance that I'm gonna find a puzzle that I want to get for us. We can look at stuff. We can look at stuff. I've been loving watching Dr. Dre's um, videos where she goes to Dollar Tree and she like analyzes all the skincare and she just like reads the ingredients from top to bottom and she gives her opinion and she like says whether it's good or not and I just love it um, this looks a little interesting I can use I can use some shampoo I like it shampoo because it's gentle and not as like stripping usually It smells amazing, like amazing, amazing. Mango. Let me take a look. Let me act like I'm Dr. Dre right now. Okay, well we have water, then we have coca something. Stardate, sodium, sulfate, sodium, glycerin, fragrance, sodium. This is sodium bicarbonate. That's like baking soda. That's like kind of harsh. Why is this? Why is that in a kid's shampoo? That's like literally, you wouldn't even find that in an adult shampoo. Oh, cause it's Arm & Hammer. With gentle baking soda. Let's check out the beauty section. I almost feel embarrassed of my Dollar Tree because um, I feel like it's a total mess compared to like Dollar Trees that I've seen in other people's videos. Um, but yeah, let's let's see. Is there anything of interest? I don't know. I'm feeling pretty distracted too because there's a lot going on. There's more than I anticipated. Eyebrow kit. Mm, this is kind of interesting. It says compared to Cetaphil Dental Skin Cleanser. Turn, turn and learn. Water SLF. Glycerin, 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 glycerin. This has mineral oil in it. Why? Why could? Why would this have mineral oil in it? 
Once again, I'm not Dr. Dre, but I don't think there's any mineral oil in Cetaphil. I really, really don't. Oopsie daisy. This is the moisturizer. Mmm, the Sweet almond oil, butter fragrance, avocado oil. Alright, so this doesn't have mineral oil in it, which is... Oh no, sorry, I... Okay, I presumptuously jump to the middle of the ingredient list. Mineral oil is the second ingredient. This is a water and mineral oil emulsion. Okay, I stand corrected. I am Dr. Dre. This stuff is weird. Hot take. This stuff is weird. I don't think it's comparable to Cetaphil. Um, this video is evolving into a skincare judgment. Uh, it's judgment day for Dollar Tree skincare. Watch out. I think I'm gonna get this. That sounds delightful. And uh, let's see what else. It's tapping. I don't drink these, but I know these are like pretty expensive, right? Like my friend drinks energy drinks, like. Maybe this is like not a popular flavor. I don't know. Alrighty. Oh, we got like a little. Oh, look who it is. It's the instant coffee that we tried. Yeah. <laughs> Having terrible flashbacks right now. Mm, should we try another coffee product though? Like. This looks a little bit fancy, but I could also be totally deceived. That looks a little fancy, but then like, that font doesn't look fancy, right? Like, I don't know. Um, let's see. Well, this is by Jim Beam, so that's gotta be good quality, right? We have Jim Beam Bourbon Vanilla. All right, so it's $1.25 for four ounces, which is not a bad price if it's decent, but we don't know what we're going to get, but I really think that we could take the chance. So I think we're going to take a chance on this, on this Jim Beam. This Jim, this Jim Beam brand ground coffee. Let's, let's get that. Wait a second, you guys. This coffee is by Harry and David? Like, that's definitely really good. Harry and David's like super fancy. I buy my grandmother peppermint bark every year and it's like buku bucks. Oops. <laughs> so that's four ounces for $1.25 as well. And I think that, I think we can go for it. I think we're gonna get you got my little, got my bag here, put my stuff in. Oh look, there's the other item that we tried, the Lady Boba. The Lady Boba. That's the second thing I've touched. So sticky. We are finally in the land of puzzles. And to my delight, it looks, it really looks to me that it's been like freshly stocked because it looks neat, it looks ample, and then look, there's some stuff over here, and I see sushi, and I think that that's cute, so I'm already thinking that this could be a cute option. How many pieces was the last one we did? Was it like a hundred? Was it two? This is 350. I really cannot remember how many pieces the last one was. I really feel like it was 100. Maybe these are smaller? 20 inches by 12. That was definitely bigger than the last one we did. Um, Alright, well, we can think about it. I think it's really cute, sort of. Mm, but as I keep looking at it, it's 
losing its appeal. So these all look like they're 350 pieces. piece puzzle. Too easy for us. A little bit too easy for us. We've got a 48 piece puzzle. Mm, I mean, I'd be able to finish it in one video. Um, <laughs> the other one um, of the Cardinal, uh, that was like a good two 45 long minute videos. We have Ariel, 100 pieces. I see another cardinal and I automatically like it. Am I gonna make them all fall down? I hope not. Oh, this is a winter cardinal. The last puzzle we did was more like a spring summer cardinal. And see, I like this. <laughs> but we're not gonna do another cardinal. Alright, we've got some hot air balloons. We've got a tiger. We've got a baby Pomeranian. We have a chick. We've got a cow. Okay. Got puppies, candy, clownfish, a sleepy koala, which um, I think that's kind of perfect. This little old place. What the heck is a bunny pushing a shopping cart? That is a bunny pushing a shopping cart full of flowers, colored pencils, and we've got whatever this is. Okay. So I really like the sleepy koala. We're gonna get the sleepy koala, but we're gonna keep our options open and just make sure we look at everything else. Because there are some more up here. Maybe not. Maybe these might not be options. 
options for us. I did really like this one though. I quite like Alice in Wonderland. We're gonna stick with Sleepy Koala and then maybe could get this one in the future. Look at Sleepy Koala. And 100 pieces is just our speed. I'm excited. Wait, I looked at, yeah, I looked at this one. Not this one. I could look at this one real quick. I think it's all the exact same stuff. Except I do see dolphins. Apparently I'm just doing whatever I want now. Um, okay, hold on. Um actually I like the I like the dolphin one. Now you've got a cute little llama. I'm happy with the sleepy koala. This is why people think that I work in places that I don't, because I'm always just like doing stuff like that. I wanted to check out the stationery section real quick. Um, maybe we could check out what kind of coloring books they have. Or maybe get. I really don't need anything. I've already got a word search and a Sudoku book. Charlie Brown. Oh, I see the Berenstain Bears. I love the Berenstain Bears. Is this a coloring book? Is it a coloring book? I opened up to a Christmas page. Hmm. Berenstain Bear. I'll put that in the front so somebody else can find it. puzzle book. That's really interesting. The, ho the House of Unrecognized Talent. Mr. Krabs, Prepare a Fine Grub, a Teen Titan, The Chum Bucket, Plenty of Fish in the Sea, Girl Power, Fun and Games and Bikini Bottom, Bikini Bottom and the Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Well, I don't know. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Um, I'll leave that there for someone to find as well. Noisy Night? Is this book about me? Like, is this book about my neighborhood? Like, see, this is interesting. I want to take a look at this. This, this looks like a book for us, huh? 
honestly. Are there airplanes in this book? The people in this apartment building are much too busy to sleep. Who is making all that noise and why? This is literally my thoughts every single night. just gonna look at one page and decide. Okay, maybe if we're gonna look at two pages. I guess we'll look at the whole book because I don't think I'm gonna get it. It sounds like this poor kid needs to call 311, like seriously. This kid needs to break his lease and move because there's a lot going on. Go to bed. Is that the kid? Has all the stress aged him? Okay, well that was triggering. I'm gonna leave that there for somebody to find.